And uh, what do we have in view? Well, we have um, a battery, which is currently cooking in the sun, so we'll move that out of the way. Put it down there. And that is currently powering this radio code here, which probably is charged enough for me to unplug it. It is, there we go, plenty of charge, it's fully charged. Then we have a uh, radio scan here, set to gamma, a etherodynamometer, this is uh, measuring torsion fields, and a GMC 320. So they are some of the instrument pack. This is also baking, so we'll put this over here. This is reading the millivolts uh, output from the etherodynamometer. Uh, and then we have, of course, the Desmotron tube. It's a uh, coil to feed it from the high voltage output of the diathermy unit. It's an original sort of 19, early 1900s device. And uh, it has a bunch of spark gaps there. So we are going to run that. And the procedure is to turn this on here. And that is a power on and a power breaker. We dial this up to max and it should be set the spark gaps to power this. First I must make sure it's off, off, down to the bottom and we plug it in down here. In theory. Okay, so still off. I'm going to go and put my battery away so it's out of the way. Over here with his radio set to uh, 2,000 mega cycles. No, killer cycles. Killer cycles, 2,000, yes. so two mega cycles. Yes. Yes, uh, uh, because that's what Griffin Brock said right. the thing was a roundabout right. tune to. And don't say the H word. <laughs> the H word? Hertz. Oh, Hertz, yes, so we yeah. don't say that, no. No, no. no. totally out of uh, theme here. Yeah. Okay, so are we ready? Uh, and we are powering on. Okay, that that works so far. Uh, there's no glow on the tube right now. Um, uh, we've got to run this for approximately three minutes, so it is currently 2.40. And we will turn this on. So immediately... There's the spark gap, it's going sparky sparky. There are a lot of sparking going on there. And this is vibrating and going mental. Uh, yep. And at the moment, I don't, it's a little bit bright out here, so. I don't see any smoke, so we're No. So this is showing counts per second 1.85 over here, but it's okay. It's not going skits. Okay, it doesn't like it there. The etherodimometer is reading 140 volts. Okay, so right in front of the tube. I uh, should probably get it in line. So you can see there it's reading 142 volts. And we will see if this uh, pans out. So. Right now we are here, so there, I'm just in front, and we're reading 140 volts. I'm gonna go out, and uh, here it's reading 15 volts. Here it's reading five volts. Uh, two volts, one volt, 
and I'm going to move around now, moving around to the side, 2.7, 3 point something, 3.5, 23 volts, 4 volts, 4 volts, 5 volts, 6 volts, 7, 8 volts, 11 volts, move over here, 6 volts, 5 volts, 4, 3, 3 volts, 2 volts, 1 volt, 1.9, uh, all the way over here by the radioactive samples, 1 volt. Go behind the door. Yeah. This door here. Okay, yeah. So here we have two 1.7 volts, and I'm coming behind the door, 2 volts, 2 volts. 1.8, 1.7, 1.5, 1.5, 1 1.6. I'm going to try and keep the same radius. 1.7, 1.5, 1.7, 1.8, 1.7, 1.8, 1.7. .7. So the door doesn't seem to make any difference. No. Um, I'm going to go over here now. 13 volts, 15 volts, 22 volts, 124 volts. 136 volts, 139 volts, 140 volts, right behind it, 135, 134, 80, over here, behind it we've only got 15 volts, highly directional, 15 volts, 28 volts, 91 volts, uh, 146 volts. Uh, it's hemispherical, but it falls off much further behind. Like so, here, you know, here, here it's uh, that's 143, and here it is 14. This is 141, 143, and it, this is. 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 9 here rather. So 14 is here. So it's it's a little tighter moving forward. If I go the same distance here, where's it at? 14. 14 there. And move around. Okay. That's 14 there, roughly. Okay. Standard frequency looks like 2040. 2040. 2040 kilovolts. Sorry, um, kilocycles. Uh, that's 14. No, that's 18, 14. Okay. 14 is uh, there. So you've got your time. Be three minutes, yeah? yeah, that's about time for that. So the GMC is complaining this is off. <laughs> no, it's uh the gamma is not doing anything. The GMC is complaining heavily. It says counts per minute 407. And this one is complaining a lot. It's still complaining. This is vibrating and doing crazy things. It's averaging the dose. Yes, yes. It's showing. Point one one micro sieverts per hour, and it's dropping, of course. Uh, so the count per minute has gone down to fifteen. What did I say it was at? 300 and something, yeah. 400, yeah. So that's much higher. So we let it cool down now for five minutes and uh, then we'll just give it another look and see more.
what we can see on these devices. Fortunately, I can't see much on this one. Uh, it will have recorded it. Uh, I'm, uh, I will set it to record now. But you can see inside here, but it's just not bright enough. So before I start the next run, I will set the radio scan here to do a sample on gamma. Okay.